Oh, hello, welcome. I am Catfish Franklin, and this here is Catfish Corner, the original corner. And today's story is uh, my mini series called Old News, featuring Stack O Lee, Episode 2 The Murder. But before I get to that, I would just like to thank you for stopping by here on YouTube. Uh, that is very awesome of you. I appreciate it. And uh, I would also like to, as always, thank my patrons over there on Patreon. If you folks uh, like this sort of thing I'm doing here, feel free to check out Patreon. Um, it is a great way to support me. Um, in addition to subscribing and perhaps liking. Anyway... Today's story, the murder, now we're getting into the meat of this thing. In episode one, the alias, we talked about how it's pretty clear that his real name was Lee Shelton and that his alias was Stack Lee. So, what we are going to be doing today is uh, looking at the newspaper reports um, the day after the murder about the murder. So... What's important about these reports, even though we have to take it with a grain of salt, because we already, with the premise we're going on, we're already going to be seeing some misspellings of names. Um, but the important thing about these articles is that in proximity of time, they are the closest to the event itself. And so close, in fact, less than 24 hours, so there was no time to really put any spin on any of this information. Um, so it's likely to be the most unfiltered, unfiltered information that we have about this murder. So I've decided that I feel like the best way I've tried to figure this out is just to read the articles to you so you can just uh, see for yourself um, instead of me trying to Put together some sort of script or something. Uh, they're all pretty short and everything, so I'm going to do that. Um, and there is going to be a little bit of racist language here. Now, we are reading newspapers from 1895, and I don't believe it's my place to be a censor of information, but we are here on the internet and everything. So I am going, there's one word that I'm going to censor when I read this, and it is the word N-E-G-R-O. And when I come to that, I'm going to just refer to that word as N-word. So when I do that, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, the rest of it, I'm just going to leave the same. So we're just going to go through these a little bit here and then um, just talk about them, see, see what happens. Okay, the first one is from the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, Thursday, December 26th, 1895. Title, Shot in a Saloon, Subhead, Drinks and Politics Get a Bullet in William Lyons' Stomach. William Lyons, 1410 Morgan Street, was shot by Lee Sheldon in Bill Curtis's saloon at 11th and Morgan Streets Wednesday night. Both are colored. They were drinking and arguing about politics. War was declared, and Lyons was shot in the abdomen. At the dispensary, the wound was pronounced serious, and he was sent to the si... Then it cuts off. The, um, whenever they took a photo of the newspaper, either it's ripped or there was some sort of thing, but we basically know that they're saying he was sent to the city hospital. Okay, so that's the first article. This one is pretty elemental. Um, it's just kind of basically clerical information about these two men. Um, as far as the murder, it says, They were drinking and arguing about politics. War was declared, and Lyons was shot in the abdomen. That's all it says. So there is no mention of a hat or the men playing craps, which is often a... Um, the way it's presented. So that's the first article. Let's, let's move on. The second one is the St. Louis Globe Democrat, Thursday, December 26th, 1895, the same day. Title, Shot in Curtis's Place. 
William Lyons, 25, colored, a levy hand, living at 1410 Morgan Street, was shot in the abdomen yesterday evening at 10 o'clock in the saloon of Bill Curtis at 11th and Morgan Streets by Lee Sheldon, also colored. Both parties, it seems, had been drinking and were feeling in exuberant spirits. Lyons and Sheldon were friends and were talking together. The discussion drifted to politics and an argument was started, the conclusion of which was that Lyons snatched Sheldon's hat from his head. The latter indignantly demanded its return. Lyons refused and Sheldon, Sheldon drew his revolver and shot Lyons in the abdomen. Lyons was taken to the dispensary where his wounds were pronounced serious. He was removed to the city hospital. At the time of the shooting, the saloon was crowded with N-words. Sheldon is a carriage driver and lives at 914 North 12th Street. When his victim fell to the floor, Sheldon took his hat from the hand of the wounded man and coolly walked away. He was subsequently arrested and locked up at the Chestnut Street Station. Sheldon is also known as Stag Lee. Okay, there's the uh, second one. A lot more information there. Um, basically, this one claims that the two men were friends and had been hanging out together earlier in the day. And it also puts the time at 10 o'clock p.m. Um, when, when it happened. But when they started talking about politics, that's when Lyons snatched Sheldon's hat. Uh, Sheldon demanded its return, and he refused, and that's when uh, he shot him. So we have that there, and then we also have the account of uh, Stack Lee taking his hat from Lyons' hand as he's laying there wounded, and coolly walking away. So, that's interesting. Um, and a little bit of extra information there about William Lyons, a levy hand, it says. So, that's interesting. Um, let's move on. So this one is one that I did not find online. I actually found this in 2019. C.D. Stelzer and I went down to the main St. Louis library and looked at microfilm about this murder and I found this one there and it's not online. Um, so this is a good one. Uh, it, it's, uh, well here, I'll just go. Uh, Grabbed His Hat is the title. Uh, subhead. Then Lee Sheldon mortally wounded William Lyons. Sub subhead. Tragic termination of an evening's carousal. Sub sub subhead. The participants first discussed politics, and then skylarked. An argument provoked threats, and then a gun came into play. The shootist arrested. William Lyons, a N-word, aged 25 years, died at the city hospital Thursday morning at 4 o'clock from the effects of a bullet wound, which extended clear through the body, penetrating the intestines. The shooting was done by Lee Sheldon, alias Stag Lee, also colored, at Bill Curtis's saloon, 11th and Morgan Streets. The two N-words had been in the saloon drinking and discussing politics all Wednesday evening. About 10 o'clock, they were rather intoxicated and began skylarking. Shelton snatched Lyons' hat and broke it. There was a dispute over this, during which Lyons threatened to kill Sheldon. The latter returned Lyons' hat, and then Lyons snatched Sheldon's. This caused a renewal of the argument, and it is said that Lyons was in the act of putting his hand in his pocket threateningly when Sheldon stepped back a few paces drew a 44 caliber revolver and fired. The bullet entered Lyon's stomach. 
Lyons fell to the floor, and Sheldon coolly took his hat out of the prostrate man's hand and walked out of the saloon. He went to a house on 6th, near Spruce Street, and was arrested there at an early hour Thursday morning by Officer Falvey of the Central Police District. Sheldon did not deny the shooting. He was taken before Lyons at the city hospital, but the wounded man was then dying and in an unconscious condition so that identification could not be established. The revolver with which the shooting was done was also recovered in the house where the arrest took place. Lyons lived at 1410 Morgan Street and Sheldon at 914 North 12th Street. All right, so that's the uh, third one. A lot more information there. Um, in this one, it comes out that, according to the article, uh, they began arguing after discussing politics, and Stack Lee actually started it and took Lyon's hat and broke it. Then Lyon's threatened to kill him, and he returned it. And then Lyon's took his hat and would not return it, and, and is, it, it, it is said, uh, it is said that Lyons was in the act of putting his hand in his pocket threateningly when Sheldon stepped back a few paces, etc. And they also used the term, Sheldon coolly took his hat. Uh, same word that they used in the Globe Democrat, that's interesting. And then they go on, we get some more information about they try to identify him at the hospital and such. So, that is all very interesting. That is what the newspapers say um, directly after the incident. Those are the reports. Um, there is no mention of Stetson Hat or any, any uh, card game or craps game. Um, they apparently started arguing about politics, and there was this hat business, and William Lyons ended up gut shot. So, uh, let's just go on a little bit here. I've got another one here. This is from December 27th, 1895, so this would be Friday then. Sheldon's victim dies. William Lyons, the mulatto, 25 years old, who was shot in the abdomen in Bill Curtis's saloon, 1101 Morgan Street, at 10 o'clock Christmas night, died in the city hospital at 4 o'clock yesterday morning without having rallied to any appreciable, appreciable extent from the force of the shock. The bullet passed entirely through his left side and so lacerated the left kidney that the organ had to be removed the operation was completed at 2 o'clock yesterday morning, and Lyons was in such an exhausted condition that he was unable to speak, though partially conscious. He also suffered greatly from loss of blood. Lyons lived at 1410 Morgan Street. On Christmas Day, he was drinking in the saloon, and became engaged in a quarrel with Lee Sheldon, alias Stag Lee, a carriage driver of 914 North 12th Street, with whom he had been on friendly terms. Lyons snatched Sheldon's hat from his head, and because he did not return it when requested, Sheldon shot him. Sheldon is under arrest. All right, well, that's the official report of the death of William Lyons. The bullet went clear through him. So in some versions of the song, they talk about the bullet going through him and breaking the mirror behind the bar. So that is interesting. The bullet did go all the way through, and they actually had to remove his kidney, um, and he did not recover. So that is, that is sad. Um, so let's just move on a little bit. Uh, this is from... Uh, also that same day as the one we just read and this is where you start to see some some uh, I don't know some liberties perhaps starting to be taken maybe the legend beginning because already things are starting to happen here so let's just take a look at this to kind of give you an idea of what 
what begins to happen here directly after the murder. This is two days after. So this is the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Oh, the last one grabbed his hat. That was the St. Louis Star Sayings. Um, so grabbed his hat, not, not uh, the one with, with William Lyon's death report. But so here we have St. Louis Post-Dispatch, um, Friday. Result of a feud, subhead, Christmas killing said to have the 400's vengeance. If information imparted to Coroner Waite Friday is true, the shooting of William Lyons by Lee Sheldon, alias Stack Lee, Christmas, was deliberately planned and was the result of an old feud between two N-word factions. Lyons was a relative of Henry Bridgewater, who keeps a saloon at 11th and Lucas Avenue, and a stepbrother of Charles Brown, who killed Charles Wilson in Bridgewater's resort about five years ago. Brown was acquitted. Wilson belonged to a club known as the 400, which hangs out at Bill Curtis's saloon, 11th and Morgan Streets. Lee Sheldon is president of the club. On account of the killing of their associate, Wilson, the members of the 400 are said to have sworn vengeance against the Bridgewater crowd, and the killing of Lyons is said to have been a direct result of this feud. Coroner Waite will give the matter a thorough investigation. Okay, so that is an interesting report there. Um, there we get the fact that uh, Stack Lee is the president of this 400 club, whatever that is. I'm not exactly sure what that is right now. Um, and we also get uh, this Henry Bridgewater, who's a relative of Lyons, and this feud and stuff. Now, to me, this doesn't really make a lot of sense, because uh, A, as we've seen, um, Lyons and Shelton were apparently friends, and this murder that they're referring to here happened five years before this. And I just don't see uh, Stack Lee being the kind of guy to craft a subtle plan and carry it out over a long period of time. Um, that doesn't seem like him. Uh, he is no... Uh, many of the reports from before this murder, when he was in the paper, was of him pistol whipping people and cracking their skulls. So this guy is a bruiser. And it doesn't fit to me, in my opinion. But this was in the paper. Um, and this is very, you know, limited information. But it is interesting. And you can see how things are maybe starting to grow. Now, to my knowledge, what I've seen, Coroner Waite never... If he investigated it, they'd never mentioned it. And nothing seems to have come up of it being some sort of, like, gang murder. Um, so finally, I have one more article right here that is from the 29th, which would be this following Sunday um, after the murder. So the murder happened Wednesday, and this is Sunday. It's very short. Um, St. Louis Post-Dispatch. For murder in the first degree, a warrant charging murder in the first degree was sworn out yesterday against Stack Lee Sheldon, colored who on Christmas night shot and killed William Lyons, also colored, in a saloon on Morgan Street. Sheldon was held responsible for the killing by a coroner's jury. So there you have it. Stack Lee did not get away with this. He was caught, you know, William Lyons lived for only about six hours after he was shot, and... Lee Shelton, Stack Lee, was captured while he was still alive, so he was only free for a couple hours, three, four hours at the most, really. I mean, it couldn't be more than six. So, uh, he was captured quickly and found guilty. Now, it is interesting, none of these reports really, like, have any witness accounts exactly. They all just sort of seem to be narration of what happened. They don't mention any... any anybody giving witness accounts or anything like that, so, um, it is just so strange how this murder has become so famous, and kind of my final thought on the subject here 
is that I guess it's just it's so simple, you know, taking someone's hat. It's like it's like getting when someone pats you on the head. It's so uh, degrading, and uh, you do not want to mess with someone's hat. I get it, but at the same time, it's just like so simple. Guy takes other guy's hat, other guy kills guy. It's that simple. And uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's why this thing has lived on. I don't know, but I'm glad that it has. So <laughs> that's my spiel on the murder of William Lyons by Stack Lee Shelton. So I hope you like that. I still have a lot of cool, I dug up some other cool stuff, so I'm going to be getting to that now. But this right here was the real flux capacitor of the whole situation. So I hope that uh, by hearing the actual articles, it was uh, informative to you and useful and uh, entertaining. You know, this is just interesting history that it really happened or whatever. So thank you for joining me here today. That's it for story time, episode two, The Murder. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be seeing you next time.